we kind we kind of figured he was here for a purpose. Everyone in the world's gonna know his name. He is different than anybody else. There's no better word than inspirational, so he inspires everybody, inspires me. Ryan has taught me how to not worry about the past, don't focus on the future, but enjoy every moment of the present. My name is Ryan Hudson Peralta. I was born with a disability called congenital limb deficiency, which basically is the shortening of the arms and the legs. And in my case, I was born without hands. When I was born, uh, the doctors told my parents that I would, I would never drive a car or go to a regular school. They said I'd never have a family. So yeah, everyone pretty much doubted me when I was a kid. Well, after Ryan was born, the doctors wouldn't show me him. And all of a sudden, they covered up the mirror and told my husband to have Mr. Pearl to leave the room. And I didn't understand why. And I said, where's my baby? I want to see my baby. And I kind of went into shock. And they told me something was wrong with his arm. And then something was wrong with his leg. They said, well, we'll let you see him in a little bit. I just looked at his face and I said, he's a fighter. Actually, I think I saw Ryan Hudson Peralta before I heard about him. So, and I asked somebody, I said, wait, is he working for us? What's he doing? And I think somebody said, well, he's a designer. You know, the first thing you, you ask yourself is, you know, how does a man who doesn't have limbs design stuff on a computer? Uh, but that's just really the first question because then you see everything else he does and you keep asking, how does he do that? How does he do that? How does he do that? Sooner or later, you stop asking the question because he just figures out a way to do it. He's, it's, uh, so it, it's truly remarkable to me and very uh, shocking and also inspirational at the same time. Never heard him complain about nothing. And he has to work twice as hard as to do daily tasks, like to send a text message or just anything. And he never complains about that at all, nothing. As a kid, I started to draw with my pencil between my, my feet. And then I, I really realized one day that it was gonna be pretty tough when I go into a bank and have to hop up on the counter to sign the, sign the deposit slip. So I, I moved the pencil from my feet to my chin and shoulder, and I started to draw that way. In 2013, I started working for Quicken Loans and the family of companies as a web and user interface designer. And about nine months after working there, um, I got an email from Dan Gilbert's team asking me to speak at uh, these events he has every, about every month. We want Ryan to talk about our philosophy and how that plays out through him and his story. And he does a great job because, again, for everybody in the audience, it's probably their first time seeing Ryan. And, and he's just so, such a unique individual that every time people see him and see he's just a regular normal guy who just gets it done, just you know, different kinds of challenges, I think that inspires everybody uh, in a big, big way. Uh, he is a testament, a living testament to that with the way that he interacts with people, the way that he approaches work, the way that he uh, builds community around him. He understands uh, the power of relationship and he also understands the power of people. Bad things are going to happen to you every day in your life. And no matter what, if you stay positive, you're going to get through them. I mean, I could look at every day of my life as something negative. Being born without hands is not the greatest thing that could happen to somebody. But I have a choice every day that I wake up. I can either look at myself as uh, you know, a poor guy with a disability or somebody that can go out and inspire people 